So this year you decided to start your career path towards becoming a UX designer or a digital product designer. But after quickly googling online and asking ChatGPT, you realize that it's quite hard to figure out exactly where to start. If this is you, then you landed on the right video. I will tell you step by step what you need to do, how you should do it, and how long it will take you to achieve this goal. So grab some snacks because this one unfortunately will be a long one, but I promise you it will be the most valuable thing you will ever watch about this subject. Now, when embarking on this journey, you'll soon realize that for some unknown reason in this industry, people like inventing titles for the same job requirements. I'm not sure why, but I'm just here to put that to an end. In this industry, you have the following titles, UI designer, UX designer, UX UI designer, AKA hybrid, and then lastly, you have service designer. Everything else you hear like CX designer or any other fancy term is either referring to one of these titles or the one who posted the job has no freaking clue what he's talking about. Now let's start with the first one, the UI designer. So a UI designer or a user interface designer is in charge of how the digital product looks and feels. He is the one who thinks about color combinations, creates icons, thinks about layouts, creates animations and so on. He is in charge of how the product looks and feels. So what does he do? His day-to-day -day job is to make sure that the digital product looks and feels as best as possible. Out of all of these titles that I previously mentioned, he's actually the only pure designer. He spends most of his time in Figma or any other user interface design tool. That's why in this industry, the slang for a UI designer is usually a pixel pusher. That's because they spend tons of hours fiddling around with designs in Figma just to make sure that everything is pixel perfect. This is what they live for. So what are the basic skills you need as a UI designer? Firstly, you'll need to know the basic design theories and principles, like how to combine colors, what fonts to use, how big your icon should be, how to space elements, and so on. Secondly, you will need to learn and master a user interface design software like Figma or Sketch. Personally, I recommend Figma, but this is up to you what you prefer. The third thing you need is to have a brief understanding about front-end development. You need to know about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And the thing is you don't need to know how to code or anything, but you do need to know what is possible or not when coding, just so that you don't create impossible designs that cannot be developed. Now, you're probably asking how long will it take you to acquire all of these skills? For this, in my opinion, you should allocate yourself anywhere from three to six months to be able to just gather all of these skills that you need. Obviously, everyone is completely different and it depends on how fast you are and how talented you are. But as far as my experience goes, three to six months of dedication should be enough to get you started on this career path. And now the big question, where can you find all this information? If you start your journey as a UI designer, then you're in luck as most of the information that you need is pretty much all over the internet and most of the content you find on YouTube and in other places is about UI design. Obviously, if you want to take this seriously, I highly recommend you to just grab a course from one of your favorite designers or content creators, as that will be more structured and it will speed up your learning curve significantly. But before you do this, please make sure that the person you're buying from is actually legit. Look at their LinkedIn, do some research, and make sure that he or she is actually working in the industry or did work in the industry. Industry. Please don't buy a freaking course for 10 bucks on Udemy from a guy who asked ChatGPT to create a course for him. That would be just a waste of money. Also, as a quick plug, I will be releasing a UI Masterclass course soon as well. So if you want and if you're interested, make sure to sign up for free on uxlab.academy and you will get notified when the course will be live. Now, moving to the UX researcher. Now, a UX researcher is the complete opposite. He is the designer who spends most of the time researching and analyzing data. His sole purpose is to identify the user's pain points and to identify the opportunities where the digital product can be improved. So what does he do? Generally, a UX researcher spends most of his time conducting user testing, compiling and analyzing data, running workshops, or making presentations for different stakeholders. But unlike the UI designers, they don't spend time designing in Figma almost at all. The most they will probably do is create some wireframes to help them explain their findings or ideas, but that's pretty much the extent of it. Most of their time is either spent with users asking them a bunch of questions or in softwares like Miro, Figma Jam, Google Sheets, and Google Analytics. So what are the basic skills you need as a UX researcher? So the first thing you need to know is how to conduct and run user testing sessions and workshops. So you need to be comfortable interviewing and presenting your findings in front of a small group of people. 
The second thing you need to know is how to use softwares like Google Analytics and Microsoft Clarity that will help you gather and track data. And also softwares like Miro, Figma Jam, Google Sheets that will help you to analyze and present your data to people. The third one and probably one of the most important ones is that you need to be a bit of a problem solver. That means that you need to enjoy coming up with creative solutions to various challenges or to users' pain points. And lastly, you need to be a bit of a data nerd. If you don't enjoy like analyzing and spending hours and hours on end, looking through data and trying to figure out patterns and opportunities, then you will have a hard time with this role. And now for the big question, how long would it take you to acquire all of these skills? So for this, I will suggest you to allocate, same as for a UI designer, around three to six months to gather all the necessary skills that you will need. Obviously, as with anything else, it can be less or more depending on how talented you are and how many of these skills you already have. But usually what people tend to do is they start as UI designers and then they tend to migrate towards UX researchers as they gather more experience and as they acquire different skill sets. And the reason for this is that UI design roles are a lot more popular and easy to find than pure UX research roles. Because most of these roles usually are found in very big companies that usually expect you to have a ton of experience. And now the question is, where can I find all the information that I need? As with the UI designer, there is a lot of information available online online that you can find. But personally, if you're just starting out, I highly recommend you to buy a course or enrolling in a bootcamp for this one. And the main reason is that it's very hard to learn UX research just from hypothetical scenarios and examples. Because the best way to learn this is from people who worked in the industry. And that can actually provide you with real life examples that they encountered during their career. Plus there are some really subtle nuances like knowing how to ask questions during an interview session or knowing how to present your ideas to take stakeholders and all of these will require a sort of a feedback from a mentor or a teacher. But obviously all of this can actually be achieved once you start out as a junior UX researcher and start working with people that have a bit more experience than you. Now moving to the UX UI designer. Now as the name states, the UX UI designer is a merge between the UX researcher and the UI designer, meaning that you can do both the research part and the UI design part. And just to confuse things even more, a UX UI designer is also sometimes referred simply as a UX designer. I know, don't ask me who came up with all of these titles. Now for the next question, what does a UX UI designer do? Well, they are pretty much involved in all aspects of the digital product development. They do research, conduct user testing sessions, create workshops, create wireframes, designs, and also on top of all of this, they also collaborate with developers to ensure that everything is implemented correctly. Usually you'll see a lot of UX UI designers in startups and small companies where they don't have a big budget for design teams. And that's because managers prefer to hire one or two people who can help them build their entire product from scratch instead of actually building a team and selecting people with dedicated skill sets. The good thing about this is that once you get to the point where you have both of these skill sets, the market will just open up for you considerably. And that's because a lot of companies actually are looking more for UX UI designers rather than specifically for UX researchers or dedicated UI designers. So now to the next question, what are the basic skills you need as a UX UI designer? Now in terms of skills, obviously you will need to know pretty much everything that we pointed out till now in this video. From research to user testing, all the way up to creating high fidelity designs and prototypes and also being able to collaborate with developers. As for time frame, to get to this point, I will say that you will need around a year and a half, maybe two, to get to a point where you're gonna be comfortable doing all of this. Because remember, it's not enough to just know all of these skills, you'll need to perfect them. That's why this timeline is a bit longer. But again, same as I stated before, you can start slowly as a UI designer and then gain all these skill sets as you work. And for our last one, we have the boss level, which is the service designer. And this is when you combine a UX UI designer with a business person. Now this is the level where you not only need to know the whole digital product development part, but you also need to think about the user experience before the user is reaching the digital product and after he's done utilizing it. And on top of that, you'll need to clearly understand how a business works. Because when you're gonna design this whole system, when you're gonna design this whole user experience, you need to make it in such a way that it will actually help the business, either by increasing the revenue, decreasing the customer acquisition cost, or whatever the KPI might be. So there's no point going through all the skills that you need for this because it will be a gigantic list. All you need to know is that you will need 
One, to know everything about the end-to-end -end product development process, and two, to have a very solid understanding of business fundamentals. In terms of how long will it take you to acquire all of these skills, as for a ballpark time frame, I will say that to get to a level where you are comfortable doing all of this, I will say anything between three to five plus years. Again, there are a lot of factors that can influence this time frame, but this is more of a ballpark figure. Also, a fun way to get this level of knowledge is after you reach the UX UI design level, you can start creating your own digital products and small businesses. Or another option is you can start taking some business courses once you get the digital product development process all figured out. Now, before we wrap this, I just want to mention that this progression is not linear. You can actually start at any point as a junior or apprentice, so there's no problem at all. But I just wanted to structure this video this way so you can have an idea of how the complexity and requirements increase with each role. Now, depending on your ambitions and goals, it's up to you at what level you want to stop. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. <sighs> that was a lot. I need a coffee. <laughs> Maybe two, three, four, I don't know. A few moments later. Spero che ti sia piaciuto il video. Se ti è piaciuto il video, lascia un like e un subscribe. Eh? That would be perfect. See you in the next one.